Hello guys and good morning. Welcome to our My Truck in Life. 170 something. Here we see the load of cassettes that I've brought back with me today. And last night we got most of our way down. We are taking them to Pembroke. Now I'm actually filming this the night before because there's something really interesting over here I want to show you all. Now I ain't going to go too close because I don't know if I'll be allowed to get there filming and that. There's a bit of a weird guy over there. But anyway, that looks like a Spitfire over there. And uh, it's part of AMSS ground support equipment. It's a company over here, so I ain't going to go and get close to it or anything but it looks absolutely stunning and um, set in that position as well it's pretty amazing um, I've also got a there's an RAF Cosford Museum near to me and I think what I'll do is get a I'll go over there with my bro and I don't know if any of you lot are into aeroplanes and that but um, I'll do a bit of a film going around that museum. If anyone's interested, let me know and I'll drop it in. Um, it's a really interesting museum. They've got hundreds of exhibits, not just airplanes as well. They've got all sorts of stuff. But anyway, let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. I'll go over there with Wazza and the family and bring you some footage of it. Sounds pretty uh, interesting to me. Uh, we've got 70 odd miles left to go to Pembroke so we'll get cracking now alright guys well this isn't the scene you was expecting to see you was probably expecting to see me driving around the south end of Wales in a glorious sunrise talking to you all about how lovely the morning is but unfortunately you're greeted with me at stupid o'clock in the morning with something to tell you. <laughs> um, right, basically, uh, for those who don't already know, um, uh, way, way, way back during Christmas or so, I told everyone how I've had an anxiety in the past. Uh, anxiety and depression, I should say. Now, I've got no harm, no qualms admitting that to you all. It doesn't really bother me. I've been dealing with it all my life. Um, but one of the one of the things it does lead to, or it affects people in many different ways, and I'm not going to go into it in detail because it's such a, a serious subject that I can't do it justice at... Uh, one o'clock in the morning or whatever it is now. Uh, basically, one of the things I get is I do, I get a bit restless and I don't sleep as much as I used to or I normally do. Um, I'll either feel I'll either feel more anxious during the day and not sleep at night as much, or alternatively. I'll just want to sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and I won't be motivated to do anything. Um, sorry if I look a bit of a state. It's stupid o'clock, like I've said. Um, yeah, that's the, the the long and short of it really is. I, I don't sleep very much anyway compared to like average humans, <laughs> I should imagine. Um, I haven't got any stats to prove anything like but... I probably get about five to six hours sleep and that's enough for me. Um, you know, if I, if I do sleep more, I actually feel worse. I uh, don't know, it's just the way I am. But um, anyway, let's cut the crap. Basically, I'm recording now because I'm on my phone and let me just switch it round. I don't think I can do it while I'm recording, so hang on a minute. Right, so, 
bit of a back history. When I got my um, HD camera, I bought two 32 megabit SD cards. And those of you who've been paying attention will know that a while ago I wheeled over the one SD card with my computer chair one evening. Um, I can't remember if I lost footage because of that or I lost a video, but I don't know. Either way, it was a goner. And now I've done tonight's video and I've just thought, oh, before I go to sleep, I'll pop a... Uh, Pop the SD card in the camera, ready for tomorrow. So I've sat here on the bed. Now the net's up because of what I'm about to say. Uh, I've sat here to get it out, and it's just dropped out of my hands and landed on my knee. Here. No harm done. Oh, I'll just grab it then. So I've went to grab it, and it's dropped down. Right, let me show you properly. This is turning into a bit of a waffle anyway, but basically the SD card has ended up falling not just on the floor where it normally falls, not just underneath this chair there where I've had to get it multiple times. You know, it wasn't, it couldn't be that simple, could it? It decided to fall in between the frigging roller there. So... Unfortunately, until I can get that back out via a tiny little hex key, because Scania like to make everything fit with a tiny little hex key. So, hex is everywhere, you know. I can understand on important things that they don't want stealing, so people have to buy proper tools to get them. But it's just a blind in a bloody drawer that pulls out. I mean, why couldn't they just put it as a normal cross-headed one? I don't know. Yes, so I'm finally in focus now and I've calmed down because the camera was out of focus when I was returning it back to myself, so. Anyway, I've just heard a funny bang outside. It is stupid o'clock in the morning, so it's a bit unusual, that was. I'll just keep this short. Basically, tonight, and today, that's really loud banging that is, sorry, anyway, uh, today's video is going to be pretty short because of the limited space on my phone memory, uh, I'm going to try and get my SD card out of there as soon as possible, because I have got some torque screws. I just haven't got one the right size. I don't know why I'm looking at my finger because there isn't one in my fingers. <laughs> but anyway, I'll retrieve that. Or alternatively, if I can afford it, because money is desperately tight lately, um, I'll order some more off Amazon and get some more SD cards sent out to me. Uh, alternatively, you can contact me via Facebook and send me some if you want to. And get a free shout out. <laughs> uh, no, I'm only joking, guys. It's uh, it's all good. Right, so I'll skip to a bit later on in the day. We'll be somewhere, I don't know where. Probably in Pembroke, unloading some wood. Alright guys, just a quickie. We are on the site now. We've just unloaded. It's a really tight little site. I'm going to try and turn around here if I can. If not, I've got a really awkward reverse. We are right near Pembroke Castle you won't see it in the video there but if you look at my Facebook page there's a tiny bit of a picture of it embarrassing picture that is but uh, yeah I'm going to keep the clip short so I don't run out of memory later on tonight guys so I do apologise probably heading back for a call now uh, I've just had a text message actually um, live update uh, it's just something to do with notes Alright, okay. Anyway, I'll phone them up and probably going into Newport for a coil, like I said. Alright guys, we're at Newport Docks now. Going to get ourselves a coil. Or three. Um, it's going to be too shaky. I'm not going to drive with you uh, 
while I'm recording. Uh, we've got to collect three coils, which will be a first for me. Uh, we're on four hours, five minutes driving, so we've got time to go round, pick up the coils, and then park up for our break. And then obviously after that, I'll sheet up. Um, you're actually quite in luck today because if I had the camera recording today, there'd be a few uh, a few dislikes in today's video. So uh, as soon as I got off the M4, actually there was problems on the M4 with a few um, less intellectual drivers, I should say. And then as soon as we got off the M4 onto the A48, I believe, into Newport, that was when everyone wanted to kill themselves. And I'm not exaggerating. Um, we even had, we had a, an old deer, God bless her, pulled out in front of me. We had traffic lights that were on part time decide to stop us in our road and then turn off that it was part time they'd finish their shift so that left three of us in a bit of a state of confusion and I decided to go um, I run, that was just before the old deer pulled out on me and then we've had uh, two little snowflakes driving well obviously only one of them was driving a little white uh, one of those Adam things or a little tiny car anyway and they'd, they'd come round me to go around me on a roundabout and then yes I'll give them their due they gave me some space on the roundabout which I didn't need but I appreciate and then they proceeded to crawl and sit by the side of me on a dual carriageway while I was hastily approaching and indicating to overtake a van who was struggling to pull away. So they sat there and sat there and sat there. I eventually pulled out behind them and for some reason they decided to stay where they were doing less than the speed limit and try and intimidate me and then they got to the traffic lights and decided they was turning right into the docks as well so instead of just approaching the traffic lights and stopping like anyone else would, it was uh, slamming the brakes on in front of me. Uh, uh, and then it was a finger from a passenger and it's like, whatever, do whatever you want. I've had far worse than a, a sticking up finger pointed at me to break my soul. And uh, if it makes them feel better, it makes them feel better. But brake checking me isn't really a good idea. Especially later on when I've got 40 odd ton of coil as well as, it's not 40 ton of coil. You know what I mean. I'll be about 44 ton. So yeah, I hope they enjoy the rest of the day. They tried reporting me to the security guard on the way in as well, saying I was driving like a maniac and you know trying to get me in trouble and all that but he didn't really give a toss and uh, i've let them get on with their merry way so they can go and have their little dinner break wherever they're going or you know go and behave like idiots off the road which is more important so anyway we're gonna go and get loaded and then strap up and have break and they're for tomorrow, which is a good news. So that this is a bit of a rant, so there won't be too much to come, I'm afraid. Um, we'll be going back up to the yard, and that should be it for today. Fantastic. Um, I'll record one more clip after this, see if we can squeeze a bit more memory out of it. Right, Cinderella has now got her free coiled on. Time to get her strapped up, sheeted up, and hopefully back to the yard. Well guys, it's half past six now. Um, we've brought them back to the yard. And we're 
just giving Cinderella some well-earned drink because she was starting to get a bit low. I need a drink as well, I tell you that. So, I thought I was having a long day, or late day I should say, because I didn't start till half seven this morning. Um, one of our colleagues is still about 80 mile away. So, you know, when you, when you think you're having a bad day, there is always someone else worse off. But, uh, oh, basically, personally I'd rather just stayed out as, as um, harsh as it sounds on my dear and everyone. Because this, if I could have gone straight to where I got a tip, and then tomorrow we're taking some ramps up to Leeds. So it would have given us a head start in the morning, save getting up early, and it'll save some valuable time in case anything happens on the way up there. But anyway, these are what I've brought back. Three beautiful coils. Can't see them obviously. You saw them in the clip earlier. And you know what? As awkward as it was, because I've had to fold up one side and keep the other side level. As awkward as it was, and as pessimistic as I was, uh, initially it has actually been probably my best ever job because I, I haven't learned how to do it all properly yet I'm sure there's better ways and better people who can do it a lot better than I am which is why I don't try and teach anyone but I need to learn how to do the corners properly but I'll just do the best I can and it hasn't gone anywhere so I'm really pleased so one last look, tomorrow we're taking a ramp, you've seen me take ramps in the past but uh, we'll be tipping the coils first and then taking the ramps up to Leeds. So thank you all for watching, I hope I've got enough memory to put this one out tonight and I'll catch you all later. I apologise for the poor quality, poor yada yada yada, I'm sure you understand, I'll be get an SD card as soon as possible.